Hi, welcome to the monkey class this year. My name is Aubrey Rice and I'm going to be your teacher this year. I am so excited to have you. I can't wait. Um, this is my second year teaching a force class. My first year I taught at a different school and last year was my first year here at the ECC and I was in every classroom. So most likely if you have a child that's coming up from a different class, hopefully they know who I am and it won't be as scary the first day. And I wanted to just tell you a little bit about myself. You got a letter sent home that actually has some pictures of my family and my doggy. Um, my husband Gary and I have been married for 24 years and this year actually we're celebrating 25. We have a son Noah, he's 13 and he's actually going to be in 7th grade at Worthington Christian next door. And um, I graduated from High Point University in North Carolina and I have a bachelor's degree in a double major, psychology and religion. Um, and we have a very, very spoiled Labrador Retriever named Hope, which we will talk a lot about in the class, and I will bring lots of pictures. We also have a hamster that is not my favorite pet. Um, he is very old. He's about 700 in hamster years now, so he's probably on his way out anyway. So we won't talk much about Bear the hamster. So I just wanted to touch base with you. There is a parent letter coming home. You may already have it that answers a lot of the questions that you probably have. But I wanted to just touch on some of the important things. Um, first of all, we're just going to generally talk about academics and what we do in the class. Our general academic time for the day is between 9 and 11 a.m. So if you are going to be late, if you could call the office, you can email me, um, but try to be here by 9 because I don't want them to miss out on some of the important things that we're going to do in the morning. Um, we will cover a number and a letter each week. Um, if I feel like they're not quite getting it, we'll move it into the next week. We're not in a hurry. Um, art, math, science, writing, centers, all of that will be worked in through the day. We also have music um, that we will have once a month with Mrs. Barlow. Reading is a big thing for me. It's really important to me. I have, this is our reading corner that I'm sitting in. I think it's my favorite place in the whole room. Um, and it's a bit more than just books. I have a lot of literacy items too for the kids to sort of have some open-ended time exploring stories and making their own stories. So we will have a lot of read-alouds and a lot of time for them to come to the library and explore books on their own. So I'm really excited about that. We um, do not have homework at school. Yay! The only homework that we really have is I just ask that you read to your child at home. It's so important and it really does help them at school as we start to learn letters and numbers um, and eventually first words. Drop off is a little different this year. Thank you, COVID. So this year when you enter the building, you and your child have to have a mask on through the hallway until you get to the classroom. Once your kids are in the classroom, they may take it off, um, they may wear it, it's up to you. Um, I will not enforce them wearing masks in the classroom and the center as a whole is not doing that. We just ask that you wear it in the hallway. Only one parent may drop off and pick up. Um, we ask that just one extra person be in the building. And parents are not allowed to come in the classroom. I know that's a little different. So we will have um, information outside the room. There's an information board that should have everything that you might have questions about. Obviously, I will be here so you can ask me in person. Um, we just ask that you do your goodbyes at the door, um, your kisses and hugs, and it's going to be a great day. And I ask that you, if your child has not been here before, to come up with a plan for goodbyes. I know I had this with my son and I think I was a mess and I made him a mess. So it's great to have it short and sweet and just send them on their way and I'll be here to take care of if there's any crying or anyone's upset or scared. I will take care of it, I promise you. They will have a great time. And within five minutes of you leaving, 
they'll be playing something and won't even know that you're gone. We are going to talk about supplies. We cannot share supplies in our room. Again, thank you to COVID. So I will be providing a box for each of your kids to have their own supplies in. Your supply list came home and we just ask that you in Sharpie, please, uh, put their names on everything. That way, if it we have a stray scissor, I can figure out where it goes. And if you would please bring all the supplies on the first day, if you don't remember, it's okay. Just remember your child, that's most important, and you can bring the supplies the next day. It's okay. Something important to bring is a baggie, a large baggie of clothes for your child in case we have accidents. We ask that you bring underwear, socks, a top, and a bottom. And if you could just put them in a large baggie with their name on it, then I can have it and it won't be a big deal or embarrassing if they have accidents. We can just take care of it really quickly. Then I will send home the dirty clothes in a baggie for you and put them in the locker. Each child can bring a water bottle. I just ask that you write their name on it, please. And we are gonna have a table at the front of our room where they can keep their water bottles all day. Um, we will keep them separated so the kids aren't touching each other's bottles. I just ask that you take it home at the end of the day, wash it, and just bring it back the next day clean. Um, I will make sure that the bottles are at the front door so that you can pick everything up without having to come in too far to the room. Nap time on Mondays is the day for you to send in all the nap items. The sheet, the blanket, the, the wooby, the blankie, the stuffed animal, whatever it is they want for nap. If you would send that in on Monday, it will stay here for the week. And then on Friday, I will actually put it in a plastic grocery bag for you, tie it closed and put it in their locker. So you can take it home and bring it back clean. Every child will have a locker, um, a long one, so they can hang things and put some bigger items. Their name will be on it. Above their locker is a mailbox. That is mainly for you. Um, at the end of the day, I will put all of the goodies that they've made for the day in there. And I ask that you please check it every day and take everything home so we can just keep filling it for you. Um, I'll also put anything, maybe any notes or anything for you in there, so do make sure to check that every day. We are going to talk about appropriate clothing for preschool. Very important that your child has closed toe shoes every day. We have lots of owies with toes, um, lots of sandals that just are not good for playing outside on the equipment, it's not safe. So we ask that they wear socks every day because we need those for the wow room and closed toe shoes, very important. Also, during the winter time, just assume that we'll be going outside. We try to go out as much as we can. So we will need jackets, hats, gloves, um, all of that every day. So we can keep those in the locker and have them if we need them. And I think that's it. There's so much exciting stuff to see in the room. I can't wait for you guys to come. It's gonna be such a great year. I'm so excited to have you. Um, I am always available. Um, I will be here from 8 to 5, so I should be here for your questions if you have them. Um, you can also reach me by email, which is on all the papers that came home, but it's Aubrey, A-U-B-R-E, dot Rice, R-I-C-E, at gracepolaris.org. And then the office number is 431-8228. And this room is room 111. You can always call and be transferred here and I can talk to you. There will be times that I cannot answer the phone, as you know, with children. So um, you can leave a voicemail or you can have, if it's important, have the office send somebody down to get me. So you can always get a hold of me. I'm always available to answer your questions or talk with you about any concerns you have. Um, if I have any behavior issues or just bigger things that I see with your kids, I will always contact you to talk about them in private. Um, I am not one that talks about kids with other parents around or other kids around. I don't think that's appropriate. So um, I will contact you and we can talk about whatever you need. I hope that you are ready for preschool. I can't wait to see all the monkeys. Bye-bye.